What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Another just beautiful day here in South Carolina. Low 50s and raining. Exactly what we need, you know. I do not mind the rain because it's washing away the pollen and uh, the pollen has been really heavy here for the past, say about the past about a month or so now. So I don't mind the rain. I just wish the weather would stay like it was last week in the 70s and 80s, but and what can you say? Uh, I got a bunch of things going on in the shop right now. I got a roof to one golf cart. That golf cart's being painted. I got another golf cart over here. I got parts over here. I got a lot of projects going on at one time. I thought it'd be perfect time to just stop with some projects and put a TV on the wall here. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I was driving by a dumpster that I usually dumpster dive. There were some people out there throwing away a workbench. I stopped, I grabbed a workbench. It's a two foot by eight foot workbench. It has some legs on them. I cut the legs off, added my own legs to it, put another shelf on it to accommodate my height. So I got a new work, you know, new to me work bench in the shop here. And I was thinking it'd be a perfect spot to have a TV right here, right here on the wall. So this week I jumped on uh, the Amazons and I ordered a 50 inch uh, TV. And that's what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a TV right here. Now, this is a carport. This is a 20, 20 by 20 carport interior, 21 and a half, or no, it's 21 by 21 exterior carport. They really get you on that extra foot by that extra foot because it measures six inch overhang per side. They go to the furthest to the furthest, or that's the way they did mine. Anyways, ain't a big deal. So this is just a carport. I made a false wall in the back, false wall in the front. Um, that's the way I built it up. The reason I built it that way is so I could use OSB on the sides instead of metal. And I ran the same siding as on my house out here so it matches. Um, if I lived somewhere out, way out in the country or somewhere, I probably would have just put on metal, you know, coming down and just saved all the trouble or whatever. I wouldn't have to touch it myself, but I didn't. So behind these right here are uh, this, this spray foam is you got your metal uprights, okay? And they're five feet apart. I got a 50 inch TV from Amazon. I'll place a link to it in the description below, it's cheap. And then uh, one that got me a cheap bracket. I'll place a link to that description below, you can check it out. And uh, the bracket's gonna fit a single two by four. So I'm gonna just place a two by four across from this right here, metal beam here to that metal beam, or it's kind of like a galvanized beam, I want to say. And then I'm gonna level it up. I'm gonna attach the TV wall bracket. Then I'm gonna hang my TV. It should be, it should be pretty simple. Um, you know how that goes though, never know. So anyways, that's what we're gonna do on today's video. This whole wall is a false wall. Uh, like I said, it's a carport. My dad and I, we just put a false wall here. It's not a load supporting wall or a load bearing wall or whatever. And that's where I mounted the air conditioner too. Actually, I mounted the outside unit on the very outside. And this right here is how I mounted the outside unit here. I just ran my electrical up there, mounted the outside unit there. I put a cover on it, try to make it look as clean as possible. But that's the shop. It ain't, it ain't much to it. Dusted dawn light I put up there and uh, provides plenty of light back here for security. But I guess we need to focus our attention right here. I'm gonna put the, the TV right here in the center is my plan. And um, with that being said, I have an electrical outlet right here. And I have another one right here as well. And I ran all of the electrical outlets uh, in the upside down fashion, just in case something was to get like come unplugged from it. And something landed on it, it would just land on the ground portion of it. But I'm gonna probably use one of those two outlets there just to power the TV on and off. I'm not probably not gonna get trying to crazy about you know trying to hide everything. So, you ever hear somebody talk about I need bigger space and they got like a, a shed or a garage or whatever and it's like 40 by 80? Well, I got a 20 by 20 and I'm using every single square inch of this, I feel like. Definitely need to get rid of some things. Well, here we are adding things to it.
But the problem is I got both of these uh, coming to angle down, uh, angles coming down here to, you know, give the shed uh, support, you know, and I wanted to keep those in here as well. But let's say I put in there sort of like this right here. It's going to be hard to mount the board directly to those uprights there, especially being behind these right here uh, supports. So that's what I'm kind of kind of hurting at at the moment. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do this because the main mount is like directly right there where it needs to be at. But Another thing is I don't want to mount the TV real high. I don't want to mount the TV real low. I want to, you know, I want the TV to be sorter in the middle, you know. So I don't know. I do know one thing is I got to turn this heater off because it's getting toasty up in here. I turned that, that heater on probably 20 minutes ago, if that. I mean, it is warm up in here. I think what I'm gonna do, I've been measuring, 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 measuring a whole bunch. And this ain't no custom house. This is just a workshop. I just need to mount it, right? So I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna just, I'm gonna cut some foam away so I can flush mount it against that piece of metal. And we're gonna drop this two by four as low as we can down against this angle here off of both sides. Once we get this right here, um, uh, insulation cut away, then we can put the two by four and place it in there and try to level it up as best as we can. And uh, then I'm gonna try to mount it. The, the screws that I have to mount that with, I just got some three inch self tappers. It's like a stainless right here. And it's got a cap head on it. So that's what we're gonna use. And I figure that would be plenty enough for, you know, this two by four, that TV doesn't weigh very much. All right, guys, I got that right there portion of it cleaned out. Stuck the two by four in there as well. Came over here, did the same. Stuck the two by four in there, put a level on it. We're looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna drill a hole through this right here portion of this um, brace here. The reason I'm gonna drill a hole there is because I still want to run one of those self-tapping screws through the piece of wood into the metal stud of the building. And with that being said, I can always go back and take some uh, some foam fill and just fill that hole back up, you know, uh, just to hide that hole there if I wanted to in the future. I don't think that's gonna really uh, weaken this right here. I'm not gonna drill a very big hole, just enough uh, so I can stick my bit uh, through here and onto the uh, self tapper of the uh, the two by four. Now, you could probably leave it in that position there. However, I don't want the two by four to flex this right here way on the wall. And if I leave it here, and I just take it here. See, I don't want that to happen. So mounting it is gonna be the best option I have, I believe. And by doing so, it should be very secure. going nowhere. I guess we got to do one more thing before we start mounting this up. It is level, but we need to measure from where we drew the mount out on the table to see if we still, you know, pretty, pretty level or pretty centered on a two by four there. Now I went ahead and drew these lines here with the two by four off. Let's see where we at here at 19 and seven eighths on that line. We're at 19 and 7 eighths from that line, so that worked out pretty good, and she's level. And another thing I'm gonna do here, got a, that's definitely gonna help out there, just a clamp. I think what I'm gonna do here, is go ahead and pre-drill some holes. That way I can put these lag throughs through the two by four.
found the bolts here. Uh, I think it's these right here. And I need to get those into place with the very bottom bolt at the very bottom of the bracket and this bolt right around this right here portion. Kind of see exactly where that gives me. Uh, I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to go all the way down with it. So that's where I'm at now. I'm going to bolt those up. And the next time you see this, hopefully it's going to be on the wall. All right, guys, so everything is now finished on this install here. Uh, I added this little device here. My wife brought it home from work last week. It's called a mesh unit or mesh box. Basically, it improves the Wi-Fi signal. Uh, it is, uh, it is receiving a Wi-Fi signal from the house and, I guess, uh, helping distribute it through the workshop here. So, um, you know, the TV is definitely... It's not lagging, it's not slow out here, and um, it's operating as it should, just like it's you know inside of a house or whatever. Uh, we got equal amount of distance between uh, this uh, support right here and that support there. Those were the holes that I drilled in there so I could access the um, self-tapper bolts going between the two by fours into the frame there of the carport. Looks pretty good. Uh, the only thing that I do not care for, and I'm gonna be honest with you, is this right here, one wire. I do not like that. What I'm thinking about doing here is getting rid of that, running just like maybe one extension, small extension cable from here up in there to both power this mesh unit and the TV itself. I've already noticed there's a couple of things I wanna buy for this project here. I need to get something to hold the remote. I'll maybe like to mount it up here so that I can just keep the remote in this one location here at all times. And another thing is I would like to find a, a keyboard for the TV itself here. Uh, the TV has an internet browser built into it. So um, and I might not be able to use it like a full fledged computer like I have indoors in the house, but if I can research something while I'm out here in the shop, it'd be a lot easier to research. Yeah, but now I'm not gonna have to worry about uh, listening to my phone or watching my phone for college uh, football or whatever. We can now watch it right here inside the shop. It's kind of like a man cave upgrade, even though I tell them my kids that this is not a man cave. I, I, tell, I tell them, I said, man caves have couches. We ain't got no couches in here. But with all that being said, guys, if you made it this far, I do appreciate it. Like, share, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want to do. And until next time, we'll see you guys later.